This lesson is about factoring a difference of cubes, such as x cubed minus y cubed, or a sum of cubes, such as x cubed plus y cubed. Let's review some definitions. When you cube a number, you multiply it by itself three times, such as 5 cubed is really 5 times 5 times 5, and x cubed is really x times x times x. We say cubed because if you wanted to find the volume of a cube, you would multiply length times width times depth. And since the cube has the same value on all three sides, you end up multiplying the same number times itself three times, hence the volume is a cubed number, namely, in this example, 125. You should definitely try to memorize the first ten cubic numbers. Practice them while in traffic or standing in line at the store. They are 0, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, and 1000. The more familiar you are with these numbers, the more quickly you'll be able to solve problems such as these. There is a unique formula that allows you to factor the difference of cubes or the sum of cubes. Notice that the formulas are almost identical except for the first three signs. You can use the abbreviation SOP to help remember these signs. SOP stands for Same, Opposite, Positive. Go ahead and say it once. Same, Opposite, Positive. Let's take a look at these formulas. When you do a difference of cubes, you're subtracting. And the signs are the same, subtraction, opposite, addition, positive, addition. When you do the sum of cubes, the first sign is addition. And so again, you are the same, addition, opposite, subtraction, positive, addition. You can always use same, opposite, positive to help you remember what signs you're using in the formula. Now look at the formula itself you have x cubed and y cubed. The formula has a binomial first, in which case you simply use the x and the y in that binomial. The trinomial, you'll notice that you're, in the beginning, you're squaring the x, in the end, you're squaring the y, and in the middle, you have one of each. Using these formulas is a straightforward matter of substituting your cubed values into the formulas. Let's look at some examples. Let us consider an example of difference of cubes. We will look at the numbers 343 minus 125. Now, at face value, we could just subtract these two numbers, and the answer would be 218. But what if we didn't know the difference between those two numbers, and we wanted to rewrite it in a different way that would make the calculation easier? We could notice that 343 is actually 7 cubed, and 125 is actually 5 cubed. Now that we rewrote the expression with a 7 and a 5, both being cubed, we can use the difference of cubes formula. So notice that the first number is 7 and the second number is 5, and in the trinomial you have 7 squared, 5 squared, and 1 of each. You simplify the expression and you get 2 times 49 plus 35 plus 25. When you add all that together, you see that it's actually 109 times 2, which is also equal to... 218. So it really is just another way of writing the original expression. Numerically, you're probably better off just subtracting, but when you have variables, it is very helpful to be able to use the difference of cubes. So let's try that again. 8x cubed can be re rewritten as 2x cubed, and 343 can be rewritten as 7 cubed. So we're using the values 2x and 7 in our formula. So the binomial, you put in the 2x and a 7. In the trinomial, you put the 2x squared first, the 7 squared last, and one of each in the middle. Once you simplify each of these expressions, you have your 2x minus 7 binomial, and inside the trinomial, 4x squared plus 14x plus 49. Yay. Here's another example of a sum of cubes. Consider 27x cubed plus 8y cubed. Rewrite 27x cubed as 3x cubed, and rewrite 8y cubed as 2y cubed. So we'll be using the numbers 3x and 2y in our formula. So the binomial is one of each, the 3x and the 2y. In the trinomial, it will be 3x squared first, 2y squared last, and one of each in the middle. Notice that our signs followed the same opposite positive rule. Since we are doing a addition, the first sign is the same, the second sign is opposite, and the third sign is positive. 
And so we've done it once again, factored a difference, sorry, factored a sum of cubes using our formula. And here's one more example of a sum of cubes. We have 1,000x cubed plus 1y cubed. Each of these can be rewritten. 100x cubed is 10x cubed, and 1y cubed is 1y cubed. So we'll be using the numbers 10x and 1y in our formula. In the binomial, we put the 10x and the 1y. In the trinomial, we put the 10x squared first, 1y squared last, and one of each in the middle. Again, notice that the signs followed the phrase same opposite positive. Since we're doing a sum of cubes, we did the same opposite and positive. And there we go. We have factored the sum of cubes using our formula. Here are some practice problems. Go ahead and give it a shot. Rewrite each of the first two numbers as a cube and then use the appropriate formula. When you're done, turn the page and take a look at the answer key.